Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by, and of course, say it with me, you got here just in time. That's right, because it's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. Before we start opening up boxes, I need you to do me a favor. Because according to the metrics on my channel, about 90% of the people that watch this show, Friday's Finds, about 90% of everyone that watches this show has yet to subscribe. So please, take a moment and just click on that button right there. That'll, that'll be so much help. And by the way, also, tell me howdy. Post a comment down there. Tell me why you like Friday's Finds. All right, let's open some boxes. As you can see, we, we, we have not relocated yet. Our first box is from Dreamyo. It's from Dream, Dreamyo. This is the Dreamyo solar powered Hummingbird Fountain. So this is actually a solar powered bird bath. You know I like watching watching my bird. Comes with instructions. Looks pretty simple to set up. We have the mount for the fence, and we have the bowl, the pump, and the fountain. So, I've relocated most of my bird, all of my bird feeders and stuff. So, I guess I, I gotta figure out a way to get them birds to come in here and bathe. Supposed to be attracting to hummingbirds, so maybe I need to break out one of my hummingbird feeders. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Let's open another box. So this box comes to us from Boyasin. Boyasin. Get a little elevation so you can see a little better. Boyasin sent us. Oh, this is something that every every RVer needs. That's why they reached out to Dude RV. Look at that. You know what it is? Can you tell? I really like that color. These are the Boyasin leveling blocks. I really, I, f I find this to be an intriguing shape. But we do have a, a carry bag, so. Is it big enough to contain all of these? So at least we got that part right. So we don't. Yeah. So now we need to put that put that to work. I need to put you show you how that supports the RV. Let's open another box. This is the Wi-Fi trail camera. It has a built-in battery. First, right off the bat, I, I haven't even opened this box, and I like it, the size of this. This uh, PH960 W trail camera. W W W. Includes our little trail cam, tree strap, permanent mounting hardware, cable. You look at the size of that. That thing is tiny compared to any other trail cam that I've ever worked with. This is the absolute smallest one. So let me let me educate myself on the little trail camera. And oh, it already. It comes with an SD card, so I don't have to go locate an SD card. I think the thing to do is to hook up 
work with those in conjunction. See if we can capture some birds hanging out at the fountain. All right. Let me, let me go to work on this stuff. I should have another box soon. One more box. Got one more box before I go educate myself and work hard. This is a little box. It's so small I can hide it behind my my back. This is from Micro Novelty. This is, and we've 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 worked with Micro Novelty before in the past. This is the Micro Novelty Giga Pump 5.0. These are just really neat little air pumps. The size of that. If it's in the palm of your hand. What else is in here? Ah. We have attachments. We have a, and a user's manual. It's from Aero Go Go. The Aero Go Go Giga Pump 5.0. I gotta find something to inflate. So let me go find something to inflate and I'll be right back. Oh, it's really, really an interesting little device. So right here on the back where it says double click to start. So that's, that's how you turn it on. So if you want it, the light to come on. It's the same button for all of the above. So your light, your blower. <laughs> took me a little while. Took a moment to figure that out. Inflate it, you move your nozzle to the other side. Right handy little piece of equipment. I, you can start a fire if you need to blow on your fire. No need to get down on your hands and knees. We just, I'll build a fire this evening and we'll see how well this works. Bird bath, bird fountain does not have a switch. As soon as you expose it to the light, it comes on. I need to set up a, a game cam so we can capture some birds. It's March. We're getting into almost spring and around here, that means really bad weather. Tornado, tor tornadic kind of weather. And, and yes, we do get alerts on the phone, but they're not 100% reliable, that's why I always have a weather radio and I'm, I'm just my favorite and, I'm, and I had, I've just bought a new one because the, the old one that I had for 20 years, uh, she decided it didn't look so great. So this is the, this is the Midland, whoop, the Midland weather alert radio. These are, these are awesome. The wind is really picking up. So the National Weather Service has a channel specific for the weather. You put a battery, nine volt battery. Oh, actually it takes 
double a the last one took a nine volt if you put your double a batteries in there you can mount it on the wall just leave it sitting on the, the desk uh, you can scan but anytime that there's a weather alert issued uh, it will identify your location the radio will pick up your channel and you'll be alerted anytime that there is inclement weather and it'll also give you just your, your daily weather forecast you can do an external alert power if you need a bigger antenna you have that and you can clone it in the box we have instruction manual as well as the power supply So the beautiful thing about the about the Midland weather radio, radio the Midland weather alert radio it's got a battery backing up so even if you lose power you have your system your alert system in the event that a big storm comes through that can damage the cell towers if you're using a dish network kind of television you, you know you, you lose reception when you get heavy clouds Starlink loses connection when there's heavy clouds. We've lost the internet because the power goes out. That leaves the cell phone. Well, we've had instances where the cell phone didn't give us alerts. And where we're going to be on the new property, the cell coverage right now is, is kind of iffy. So this, this is, if you live in a weather prone area, which is just about every area, do your family a favor and in, invest in the small amount of money for one of these Midland radios. They, they last forever and they will save your life. Easy to program. I mean, the menu, it just walks you right through the setup and you just push the buttons as required very easy to use and then you don't have to keep asking alexa what's the weather you can just walk over and now you know what the weather's gonna be i'm a huge fan you should be too I'm so I'm so glad the, the the weather radio got here. We're under a tornado watch for the next probably three days. Anyway, birds have yet to find the, the water fountain. It means we probably only have dogs on the game cam. So while we're waiting on the birds, let's take a look at something else. Trailer theft is is on the rise, especially cargo trailers. Yeah, and RV trailers too. They uh, they tend to disappear out of the storage facilities. So we we as trailer owners, we gotta we gotta keep our gear secure. That's where Proven Industries comes into comes into play. Now I have I have a new trailer on the way. It's supposed to be here in a couple of days. And that trailer, one of the trailers, is going to be down on the land. And so I have grave concern about my trailer disappearing. And so I reached out to a number of trailer security specialist companies and proven industries. They responded. They said, yeah, we, we would love to sponsor Friday's finds. And so they sent us one of the most impressive trailer locks I've seen. Now, if you've not ever researched trailer locks, I highly encourage you to spend a little time and watch people breaking into trailer locks. <laughs> locks in general. Uh, I've just freaked out. I, I thought I had things going on, but I have learned I did not. So Proven Industries has got one of the coolest trailer locks, and we're going we're gonna to take a look at it right now it, it came in a box with that address stuff all over it so i had, had to get rid of that 
Here is actual, the actual lock itself. It's a puck lock. Barrel key. These are some of the hardest, almost, I'm not going to say impossible, but very difficult to, to pick one of these puck locks. And you certainly can't cut it off. But how do you put that on your trailer? Well, that's where this hunk of metal comes into play. This probably weighs five pounds. That's a hardened steel. It's a two piece lock. So you have this piece that goes into the hitch itself. And then this flips over the hitch. And then this locks onto there. So it fits together like so. We'll, we'll go around to the trailer, my little trailer here shortly and, and take a look at how that works. So, you, you. so there's, it's open. And then that's in place. We put that on like that. Up, up. Gotta push the barrel lock in the place. So that's how it looks. And your key goes on the bottom. Let's go put it on. That'll, that'll look better if I go put it on. Proven Industries is an American company. This is a family owned business. The reason their business started, the reason they came up with this innovative idea, they had a trailer stolen. <laughs> they had a travel trailer stolen with a bunch of stuff in it. Uh, and they actually had a lock on there similar to the one that I had been using. Anyway, let's see how this thing goes and goes on. It's a genius idea. Because if, if you're not securing your, your safety chains, that can be used to, to take your trailer. So safety chains hook onto here like so it goes in there like so already you can see <laughs> we're we're better off than where we were and then you have your v notch this is such a genius idea it fits over there like that and you have your lock and remember you got the barrel that goes up and down it's a good idea to remember how that key fits in there so that when you're sticking the key in, you're not having to lay on the ground. Slide it, and there you go. How cool is that? That, my friends, is a secure trailer hitch. It would take a lot of effort on somebody's part to cut through that thick steel to get that off and even if they got through here they still have to get through here <laughs> what a great idea i'm excited about it you'll be happy with it i know i am all right moving right along Go I think some birds were, as I was saying, I think the birds have found it. I actually saw a mockingbird and a couple of small chickadee kind of birds getting water earlier today. The camera doesn't seem to be able to pick them up. But you saw, it does a great job picking up people. 
and the wind and the rain. I think it's great though. I mean, it's, it's still showing a full charge and it's been five days. The little fountain, I like it but it it i i found that it the water will blow out of it because we're up here on this hill it's so windy at times when i first put it up i had to put water in it regularly because you know we had 20 mile an hour winds blowing through there i think it's really cool when the, once the birds have really identified it it'll it'll be even better almost forgot the blue blocks they actually snap together they lock together real tight tighter than some that I've worked with but you would put that under your your trailer tire like, like so of course that's a little high but blue blocks I like them you will too gigapump five this thing is awesome fits in your backpack fits in your pocket wherever you need a little air a little light that'll get the job done i can't say enough good things about that trailer hitch lock and if you've not and i and i'm gonna re-emphasize this do yourself a favor and go watch youtubers who pick locks that will just blow your mind it'll it'll give you a new perspective on keeping your gear safe and that brings us and that brings us to the end of this edition of Friday's Finds. All of these items can be found on Amazon. And as I normally do, I will provide you with a link in the card above and in the description below. That link will take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV Gear Recommendation Amazon page. Your business is most appreciated. And, and the vendors who sponsored this video would really appreciate if you go go check out their products and if if you're in the market uh, doing some business with them that would really help the channel out it helps keep this show going when you when you actually shop through those links so thank you for that and if you've not already i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button it doesn't cost you a dime it's just right there just click that it helps with the algorithm and what even helps more with the algorithm is just post a comment just say hi i appreciate you stopping by i really do and and i would be honored if you would if and for those of you who have been following along thank you that's why I get to do what I do. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't get to do this. And for my patrons, your generosity is so appreciated. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?